So, Maurizio, uh, how do you like the palace? Well, you know, in my, in my dream, a palace looks like a castle. <laughs> <laughs> and the castle here is real castle, because there is many, many halls, many different places for the culture. So I'm very surprised to, to discover uh, such kind of uh, cultural attraction in the middle of your city. And it's really, really a cultural center. So, super. Thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah, it's good to hear it. Um, when and how did you start your adventure with music? Well, I started very, when I was quite a baby, six years old. And uh, looking my brother that played piano, but now my brother is a, is a surgery doctor. Mm -hmm. And I am a pianist, so. <laughs> but it was, was nice, it was, was in the family, or there's a piano in my, in my home, so it was very natural, it was mm -hmm. very natural, but then I realized to be a musician, my dream was to be a musician in my life, about 15, 16 years old, so when I start to, to, to present myself in a competition, so and then they give me the first prize. I said, "Well, okay, mm -hmm. thank you." And then another first prize. I said, "Okay, that's good." So, so probably it's not so bad. Mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> and finally, uh, this year I celebrate 32 years of my career. Ooh. Yes. So, what is your biggest achievement in music? The most important prize? Well, prize. Prize, of course. Uh, the best was Rachmaninoff competition in St. Petersburg and then Sydney competition also. But, you know, I have an idea. Like uh, the great composer Bela Bartok say, competition are for horses <laughs> and not for <laughs> musicians. So I prefer to be a musician and uh, of course there are important competition in the world, but just a few very important. All the others probably are not so important and, and great to, for, to start a real career. So what I suggest, it's very important to, to make auditions like I, I did mm -hmm. in my life uh, with important conductors, important artistic director. And one of the best uh, remembering of my life, it was my meeting with uh, Aldo Ciccolini, my teacher in Paris. And I was also assistant of Ciccolini mm -hmm. in the conservatory in Paris. And also the meeting with some important conductor in my life. For example, Peter Mag in, in Switzerland. We, we, we played together all Mozart mm -hmm. piano concerto and it was really great, great, great lessons of music for me. Recently, what is the good prize or possibilities in my career? I signed a contract. I signed the contract with the Universal Music Company. Mm -hmm. So after 30 years of career, finally I recorded for Decca, <laughs> London. So mm -hmm. it means a lot for me. So the first CD is already uh, start, already go out uh, with Tchaikovsky, The Seasons, and I'm ready to record the second one. Please describe me the way to being a piano master. In one word, experience. Mm -hmm. Just experience, because a piano master, what it means, piano master? Piano master, it means uh, to get so much experience in your life that finally you can transfer this kind of experience to the students. But in the same moment, to be, it's very important to be open to other ideas, other possibility of interpretation. Music is like a, a flexible face with mm -hmm. a, a lot of expression, a lot of view, a lot of uh, feeling. So it could be possible that in one theater, sometimes I played a little bit more relaxed with more pedale. In another theater, I play not so much relaxed. But what is important that in the audience feel that I'm very, very honest in front, mm -hmm. of the core, in front of the music, in front of the composer. Mm -hmm. so because you are a teacher of Anna Hajduk. Exactly. From Dombrova. Yes. <laughs> and how looks the, uh, your cooperation? 
Well, I met Hanna first time during my master class in Krakow in the Summer mm -hmm. Academy many years ago. And then after some a couple of years she decided to, to to follow me in Paris. I'm professor at Scola Cantoro in Paris. It was one of the most oldest academy in, uh, in France. It was founded by César Franck and Maurice Ravel. And in my class, Debussy was teaching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, Anna, when I, I remember Anna first time in, in Paris, she was very, very impressed by the, the, the place, by the building. Mm -hmm. And we worked together very, very hard. And this year, she's going to finish the academy. So she's a great young pianist. She's a gr very clever, very flexible, and she played chamber music, solo, orchestra. It's really professional mm -hmm. young pianist. What's what I mean for a professional young pianist? So mm -hmm. not only for competition, but really a large view of the music. Mm. Please tell me about your dreams um, in musical, musical and private sphere. Difficult question, but about music, my dream is to continue, mm -hmm. to continue quite in the same position, the same, uh, that's a good dream, possible dream. <laughs> the impossible dream is to play again, mostly of the, the repertoire that I already played, in another way. Mm -hmm. Like a cellist, mm -hmm. probably. <laughs> 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 so another instrument. In the private uh, life, well, I had already many dreams. I have mm -hmm. two great sons, uh, 17 years old and five. And, you know, uh, the five years old, the, most, the youngest, it's like a, a vitamin. You know? mm -hmm. It's really, really, really funny, really, really full of energy. And for a 51 year old man, it's like a, a botulin, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> <A> botox. <laughs> it's a renovate, re, really renovate my face every mm -hmm. day. When I come, when I come back at home, a little bit sad for some things. Immediately after it, the first smiling of my son, I, I, I'm again fresh, ready to go. The, and the, the, also, the oldest one is a percussion, it's Jeff's ah. percussion. So. What I can say, <laughs> he opened my mind every day. And the younger son is going to be a pianist? Start, or? A week ago, he started lessons of piano. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm very proud. <laughs> uh, what advice would you give to young beginning musicians? That's a good question. Many, many times, a lot of it, doing a lot of interview, they ask me what's the advice. Well. To be honest, uh, in this moment, the young generation suffer a lot. Mm -hmm. Suffer for a lot of reasons. Suffer because the dream is sometimes not possible. Because there is no job even like a musician. So the best ad advice, the best suggest to be like you are, exactly, mm -hmm. every day. To follow your idea of, uh, of a culture, to follow your idea of life. And try to practice, practice, practice a lot. It's the only way to go up. Mm -hmm. And if something happens, better. But if something not happen, unfortunately, you already done your maximum. Mm -hmm. That's very important. So to be honest, I'm a little bit uh, worried about the next generation. Anyway, there are some kind of uh, pff, incredible exploit like recently in the Chopin competition in Warsaw, the winner of course, the winners generally, Tchaikovsky competition in Moscow, so probably there is, there is a chance, mm -hmm. but in general the musical life suffer a lot. What are your plans for the nearest future? Well, I can say you what the baby may play in the next two months. And then I think it's fine. I just came back from USA, from Chicago, to for a concert. Now in, in Poland, your great city and great palace. But in um, when I came back, I came back at home just three days. But then I I, I leave to Paris mm -hmm. for concert and master class, of course. And immediately after, I came back to Germany for a concert in Dusseldorf. And after that. <laughs> I go to Spain for a two recital in South Spain. Uh, April, I, I have a seven concert recital in Italy, including Venice, Florence, Naples, Roma, and Milano. 
and then some like this. <laughs> so concerts, co concerts, concerts, concerts. Yes, that's, that's <laughs> my life. I mean, I, it's a privilege for me. Yeah. So please write a lot in English. <laughs> scrivete molto in italiano. And say the right things. Dite le cose giuste. <laughs> But never write on the blog bad things. Non scrivete mai le cose terribili. Uh, a blog is a social network. Mm -hmm. And uh, un blog è, una, è una, una, un circuito sociale. And it's very important to be social. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> è molto importante essere sociali e socievoli. <laughs> That's very important. <laughs>